In today's video, we're going to take a look at ReSimply's website builder for real estate investors and see if it's any good. Let's dive right in. So if you're in your ReSimply account on the left hand side, you're simply going to scroll down to the marketing tab here and tap website, which is going to open up this tab for you. Now we're going to hop into my computer to be totally transparent. I have not played with this at all. I'm pretty tech savvy when it comes to websites and building funnels and things of that nature. So I'm going to go through this with just kind of completely blind eyes and see if I can figure it out with my background or not. Now, I think it's worth pointing out that I personally utilize carrot sites. I've been on investor carrot since they called it investor carrot. I think it's just carrot now all the way back since like 2016. I personally use one of their like concierge custom build sites for my own branding. But let's dive in and see if it's possible to just save ourselves that extra subscription. I hate when newbie real estate investors sign up for like 12 tools that they don't need. I am a fan of ReSimply offering multiple features as long as we don't get into the like jack of all trades, master of none category. So hopping into my computer here, I'm going to click create a seller website because that's what I'm shooting to do. And I am going to make up a terrible brand name uh, for any of you guys that argue that branding doesn't have any effect. You don't need to do it. I wonder if you would sell your house to Mr. Steal Your Crib. Oh, I can only go lowercase. Okay. Mr. Steal Your Crib. All right, they don't want spaces. All right. Allow them, allow search engines to index it, sure. Um, name it will be used. I'm gonna just copy and paste this to make this a little bit easier. Whole reason for going through this exercise, I ran an event this past weekend and one of the folks that was out mentioned that in order to kind of save some of their marketing dollars, they were trying to do it through ReSimply because they're already paying for it and save themselves a carrot subscription. They're asking me some questions about like what I do this or that. And I was like, honestly, I haven't played with it. So here we are, real time live review for you guys. Uh, phone number, I'm just gonna see if it'll let me throw in a dummy number. Uh, I'm going to do Ryan at RyanDossie.com because it might ask me to confirm it or something. For the address, I'm going to do my old office address from back in the day. Uh, what city do I do business in? Um, let's say St. Louis, MO, 63304. Okay, so... Looks like I can pick between these two. I wish it gave me more of like an explore, like which one do I want? Um, I'm gonna go with this one because it looks a little bit more like tough. Gonna hit create website and see what that does. One complaint that has kind of been around for a while on ReSimply is sometimes they're loading things. Like if you're in the CRM, there'll be like a little scrolling wheel. Uh, I personally have just learned to live with it. It's not really that common. They've improved a lot of latency stuff. doesn't surprise me that this is taking a little while. It's building a website while I'm recording it. So that tracks. All right. So let's see how it works. I personally would never sell my house to Mr. Steel Your Crib, but that's just me. Um, I, I've actually seen worse brand names out there. I mean, that's pretty clean. That was pretty easy. Overall, the copy on it, copy on it's not bad. Uh, my number one gripe with stock carrot sites is they read a little like ghetto. Uh, they'll literally be like, unload your burdensome property. I've never had a seller talk to me like that. So um, yeah, honestly, not bad. I like that they're really pushing local family owned. That's just hilarious to me. 
Okay, so let's try to customize some things and see how that works. If I was looking to just like throw up a website um, in order to dump some direct mail out, I mean, we had that initial template built in like four to five minutes, which isn't terrible. I do love that this has the SMS consent opt-in natively built into the form and that it actually looks clean. There's one huge gripe I have with carrots, building the consent into the forms just doesn't look quite right. And this looks pretty natural. If we're being transparent though, I clicked edit page or customize like a minute ago and it's still spooling. Again, uh, I'm on Starlink. I don't have the fastest internet in the world. I think it's like hundred gigabytes, hundred gigabytes, I wish. 100 megabytes. <laughs> um, okay, cool. It timed out. Um, let's try to go back. Let's hit customize again. So I, I don't know if that's a my internet thing or a resimply thing, but the second time it popped up pretty quick. All right. So this appears to me very similar to kind of how carrots um, back end used to look. I believe this is a like WordPress, you know, um, theme. So if I wanted to change my colors, go through and just change the colors here. Uh, one thing I do recommend, right? If you have a logo done, have them also give you like a branding guide of what colors you should use. And what they're probably gonna give you is a hex code that looks like this. Uh, oftentimes when I'm auditing websites for people, I'll see really goofy things where like their colors just don't match or go together or really clash. So. They'll give you things like what your primary color, your secondary color, and like what your accent color should be, which is like what I would use for a, a background color. Um, typically on a website like this, I'm going to go and I want to change my colors so they match. I'd want to upload my logo um, for the fun of this. Let's just do real estate logos. Please, for the, the love of all that's holy, if you're getting a logo designed, don't make it be like the three roof lines uh, that everybody does like this logo. I feel like everybody uses. Don't, don't make it look like one of these. Have a little bit of soul and some fun with it. But um, also, I don't like the gold chrome ones, but not the point of this video. Let's snag Harmony here. Save image, save. So assuming I had a logo done, I'm going to come back here. Go select files, downloads, select the one that I snagged. I'm gonna crop it in a little bit more so there's not all that white space around it that doesn't need to be there. Looks like it's gonna load that. Cool, pretty clean. Um, I, honestly, I'm, I'm being blunt, like I'm, I'm impressed. I thought that this was going to be clunkier. Um, so that looks pretty decent to me. Um, one thing that I would want to change that I don't know where they have in here is uh, this main like background image. Carrot calls it like the hero image. Um, I would want to go with something local, uh, not not this you know LA modern like. It's not what places in St. Louis look like if you're from St. Louis. Um, let's do this. Carrot has really good help guides. Uh, let's see if Free Simply has the same. Uh, let's click on their first one. Could be an SEO thing, but um, that I didn't get a super simple thing on how to do that. I'm gonna click publish. Um, one thing we would definitely want to change, close out of this, is the URL. I don't want my URL to be uh, resimplywebsites.com slash Mr. Steal Your Crib. Um, so I would want to go into settings, most likely. and custom domain. Um, one thing I will say with Resimply is their customer service is typically really solid. Maybe that's just me because I've sent them tons of users, but they've always been super helpful when I've needed things done. So if I wanted to add a custom domain, I'm gonna spend like $7 for you guys here. Um, I personally use namecheap.com to buy all of mine. 
Uh, make sure I'm logged in here. All right, search my next crypto name. I'm going to do Mr. Steal Your Crib dot com search. Oh, what do you know? Mr. Steal Your Crib is available. I was really worried one of you guys would already be using that. Uh, it's 11 bucks. So cool. Go check out. Um, one thing I would always do is turn on auto renewal so you don't accidentally forget and have it um, lapse. I'm going to turn that off because uh, there's no way I'm ever using Mr. Steal Your Crib for anything seriously. Uh, we're going to click confirm and pay now. I've got a credit card linked, so I don't have to enter that in for you guys. All right, Mr. Steal Your Crib dot com. Save. Okay, cool. I was like, is it going to tell us how to do it? All right, sweet. I'm going to go into manage and over into advanced DNS. This is where like I can follow the instructions, but I don't really know what these things mean if I'm being honest. So if that's how you feel when you're doing this, uh, don't, don't feel terrible. Uh, let's see here. Step one, remove a, a type record with your register domain um let's see so the only one that i see here is the url redirect um select your domain find a type for alias type or name field characters at step one remove a type Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to I'm going to delete what's in here. And step 2 Go to DNS overview, select your main, select a type. So add a new record, an A record with the host. Uh, I think that's where I put the I think that's what they're wanting. Throw the at in there. Point to that. Okay. Oh, cool. They have detailed guides. Um, okay. That's name cheap's guide, not recently specific. All right. So I'm going to say yes to that. And I'm going to say, what else did they want? Go to add an A type, add a non www. Okay. So, A record host www. I believe that's what they asked me to do. Look over to domain, go back to advanced. Now it's worth noting that these changes typically take like 24 to 48 hours um, to like populate. All right, so I believe that was done. See if just by some stroke of luck it was instant, but I'm not expecting that. Okay, so it looks like it's pointing correctly. It's going to the Resimply websites. Um, let me, it's got me logged in. So I'm going to try it in incognito. It pops up and says it's not secure. Am I sure I want to do that? It takes me back to the Resimply websites. Um, takes me like to this page. Points to use that. Okay, I think I did that. So. Um, give that a bit and see if that works or not. If not, I'd reach out to Resimply's customer service and simply ask.
social. So you can link to your socials here. So those all like point back to it in the background, which clearly I don't have because this is a fake brand. A um, couple of just like pro tips on websites that I recommend. I'm going to go over to content here. And I always recommend um, filling out your like about us or our company page with an actual picture of you, why you love the market, why you exist there. Like the whole reason somebody goes to your brand, they want to know like, are you legit? Are you somebody they can trust, et cetera? So um, I would want to go in and fill out that kind of information. So, you know, I would throw in a picture of me, me with the family. I live here. I love here. Here's why you should trust me. Here's how many projects I've done, right? Really kind of your credibility. Um, so I would throw that in there. And then I think I also just figured out how to change the cover image. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to the home page and click edit. So I was in the like design editor. We're now in the content editor section. So background image and align. So cool. Looks like I could just swap a different background image if I want. Awesome. So that's pretty straightforward, not terrible. So if I click the back button, just kind of take us to where we were. I'm going to show you guys how to get to the design editing sections as well as the content editing sections, just to make sure that that's clear. So I'm going to click dashboard on this. And then content is going to be in here and design is going to be the one under it. So content is where you'd go to swap out images, copy that sort of stuff. Uh, design would be where you're going to go to get to this kind of stuff. So changing kind of the main branding colors, um, your logo, you want to do a favicon as well. So that is this little guy, the icon, ideally that looks like your logo. Kind of like how Resimply's looks up here, Namecheap's looks up here. You don't want it to just be some random icon that's not your brand. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed. That was super straightforward. It was relatively easy. I think the worst part is going to be like connecting your custom domain or swapping out some copy stuff that you want. But really, I mean, we did all of this in under 20 minutes from making up a brand name, buying the domain and publishing the website not too shabby at all. Now, would I use Resimply websites over Carrot websites? And the honest answer is I don't have enough data. So even if your Carrot site costs you a hundred bucks a month, if it converts better than the Resimply website, then it doesn't matter if the Resimply website's free. I want what's going to convert the best. I mean, on one deal, we might make 10, 15, 20, 30, 50, a hundred thousand dollars do I really want to miss out on that one deal because I went with something less effective? Now, on the flip side, Resimply might end up testing out to be more effective, in which case if I'm already paying for Resimply. It's free for me and it converts better. In my experience in the past, I've designed prettier websites that didn't convert as well. I once paid $5,000 to have something custom built and I went from converting between like five to 10% on my carrot site down to like one to 2% on my new pretty site. Three simply websites though, look and appear to function pretty similar to the carrot sites. And I think I like Resimply's off the shelf copy a bit better than carrots. And that says a lot coming from somebody that's personally used and is using carrot and has endorsed them since 2016, 17 ish. I think time will tell which one of these two is going to be better. And I think it's really going to come down to that conversion rate. At the end of the day, that's all that matters. I don't care if it's prettier. I want what's most effective. I think as Resimply gets that data, it'll be really interesting to see who comes out on top. If I was personally starting out and I was on a budget and I was already using Resimply, I'd probably just use their built-in website builder. I would save the cash on another tool. Now, I'm going to be transparent with you. I'm an affiliate of both. So I would make more money to tell you like, oh no, you definitely need to use both. Carrot's the only way to go. I personally use and pay for Carrot. My Carrot sites have generated thousands of leads. Uh, but that being said, I think this is a potential good alternative, particularly if you're just starting out, you're looking to just hit the easy button on something. Thank you guys for taking the time to hang out with me today. My name is Ryan Dossie. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys next time.